Great Texas Blackland Prairie in Post Oak, Savannah is encountered by most Texans as they drive along I-35 or I-45 going from the Great Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex down toward Austin or on their way to Houston. They can also see it all the way up to the Red River. The Blackland Prairie is notable for its beautiful rolling deep topsoil prairies. You've got trees lining along the watercourses, but by and large this region was almost custom made for farming. As a result, this country was one of the great magnets that led to Anglo and American immigration to Texas in the 19th century. One Texan said that in the Blackland Prairie, a farmer could plant nails and harvest crowbars. The soil is that rich. Of course, there's also great pasturage and great rolling meadows. In the springtime, the Blackland Prairie is also host to great displays of wildflowers, especially nearly limitless fields of blue bonnets and Indian paintbrushes. Cities and towns of the Blackland Prairie include Sherman, anchoring the northern end up towards the Red River, and then places like Greenville, Dallas and Fort Worth, Hillsboro, Corsicana, Waco, and Temple. While agriculture remains a big part of the story, Dallas has diversified its economy towards banking and oil and gas, while Fort Worth, boasting that it is where the West begins, maintains its position as one of the great centers of agriculture and rural pursuits within the state. Why else would people call it Cowtown? The Blackland Prairie edges into the Post Oak Savannah where trees begin to dot the Texas landscape. Around such towns is Bryan and College Station, Seguin, Gonzales, and Cuero. This heartland of the state was among the first acres to be settled by immigrants from the United States and continues to lend its own taste and style to the Texas story.